welcome back to Bubble Pop Kids. Get ready for a little Bubble Pop Beauty. I am so excited for this video today. I cannot even tell you. One of my friends actually sent me this case and I have not opened it, but I know it's filled with makeup. The moment has come. I have been waiting to open this for about three or four days now. And here we go. Oh, this is such a cute little briefcase. What is in here? Whoa. Unbelievable. <laughs> you guys, I am going insane. I cannot believe how much makeup is in here. I see nail polish, eyeshadow, blush. There's too many things. I seriously do not even know where to start with this. I don't know what makeup to test out first, but the thing that's catching my eyes are these eyeshadows. So what do you guys see? We start here, move it to the other side, and review some makeup. Let's do this. I guess we're starting with the shadows, wow. <laughs> and looking at this card here, there's 32 different shades. So we have tons to look at. I don't know if I could swatch them all, that would take forever, but if you look at the colors, we get some smoky ones, blues, yellows, pinks, purples, nudes, blues, and whites. They're all really organized. Let me just pop out a few of these little palettes and start swatching. I'll take some teals, a little yellow, and maybe, hmm, try the pinks. So we get three here, and with these three, we get 12 different colors. We could test these babies out. I'm gonna start with the pinks. Ooh, matches my nails today. So here we go. I'm gonna try all four pink ones, swatch them out on my hand, and see which ones look the best. are all four shades of pink and starting off with this makeup I love it I love the texture of these eyeshadows they're super super blendable really good quality we get a dark one this is my favorite it's kind of like a shimmery silvery pink a super light one another light one but they're all different switching it from the pinks and normally I don't wear pink eyeshadows every day but some of these are so subtle you could just wear them all the time Ooh, these are my kind. <laughs> kind of goldish nudes, but then there's this really pretty yellow in there. Ah! There you go. Interesting. I did the swatch. I did four different shadows, but you only see two of them. Those two are just amazing. Look at that yellow. It's got a super goldish finish to it. And then this one here, oh, I love it. It's just like golden powder. It's so, so beautiful to put like on your eyelid. But the other two, they are just completely clear. Can't even see them. But these two were well worth it. Moving on to the third palette, we get four more shadows. These are the blues, kind of like teal or turquoise. They are really nice. And just looking at them, I could tell they are filled with pigment. your blues and just like the pinks I love these they are so pretty you definitely get four different shades and my favorite two have to be these this kind of like shimmery one and this icy white good ones too let's pop these back in and test out a few more we got so much makeup to look at here today gotta get to it maybe I'll go with these kind of nude tones the smoky ones and some more blues. Pick three more palettes to test out. That means 12 more shades. This is probably the one that I'm liking the most. I haven't tried them out yet, but they are so shimmery. I love those natural colors. Oh, 
I love these. Would you guys look at these colors? Oh, they are beautiful. These three are just so, so similar, but I do not mind because they are my favorite shades ever. I have to say this one is my absolute favorite. It's kind of like a bronzish, goldish. That would look so nice on your eyelid. We get two more of those, a little bit darker, and then we get this one. Of course, it's this one on the palette. It's just kind of like a chocolatey color, and it's got so much shimmer in there. It's really, really pretty. Moving on to the Smoky Eye Palette. Now, when you first look at this, most of them, they just look kind of black and like a darker gray, but look at that. It's got so much dimension and sparkle to it. This one looks kind of dull. I don't really like it, but these two, I'm super curious. Here's your smoky eye ones, and I have to say, the ones that I felt were gonna be the best were these two, this one here, and this one. I'm not liking too much. They're not really filled with pigment. They're kind of light, but look at that. That is so nice, and if you wanna like layer up the color a little bit, you can just make it a little darker, and you can do like a cat eye with it. Hey, my little makeup lovers. I'm starting to get a little bored with the eyeshadows, although I do love most of them. This is the final one we're gonna test out before we go to those other makeups. Ooh, look at these. These blues are just super dazzling. I cannot even get over it. I'm liking this one. It's kind of like a Cinderella blue. There they are, your four blues. Very similar to the other blues we tried before, but I love all of them. They're really nice shades. They have a lot of shine to them. And this one actually happens to be my favorite. It's right here, it's kind of like a periwinkle. Very nice. So there were your 32 eyeshadows. I tested most of them out, and I have to say I loved most of them. Some of them were not so great. Very dull, not a lot of pigment, but as a whole, they were really, really good. What is next? What do you guys say we pop out these lipsticks and lip glosses and see how those colors look? There you go, your two lipsticks in the case. Now normally I am a lip gloss or a lip balm girl. I love just like a shiny glossy lip, but on occasion I do like to wear a dark lip color. Ooh, look at this one. <laughs> look at all the shimmer in there. And normally lipsticks are kind of matte. They don't have all of this dimension inside. Test it. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> look at this color. I have no words for this. I didn't know what to expect. It kind of looked like on a red side, a little dark. But look how beautiful it is. It looks like a lip gloss. It's the perfect pink. It's got some shimmer in there. Love it, and it's funny, this huge case only came with two lipsticks, but this is really all you need. This color here looks a little on the darker side, kind of like a brownish purple. Looks super cool. We're gonna swatch it. I'm gonna put it right next to this beautiful pink and see the difference. Ooh, ew! <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just not my taste in lipstick. It's kind of like a chocolate brown. Not liking it too much. And of course, with these two next to each other, there's really no competition. I love the pink. I'm not sure what this one's supposed to be. Now we're talking, we get some gloss. Although I have to say I adored that last lipstick. The brown one, not so much, but look at this. Kind of matches my nails. It's like a medium pink. It looks kind of creamy. Test it. Ooh, amazing. You know, sometimes when you see a lip gloss in a little container, you're not really sure what the color will look like, but the color does it perfectly. It looks exactly like the color here. I love it. It would give you the most beautiful pink, super glossy lip. Now for this one here, this is the test. I am so curious if it's gonna be as, ah, it keeps rolling. If it's gonna be as dark as it is in that little tubey. 
hope it is because it's such a nice red. It's like a creamy red. It's not too, too glossy. Woo! Yes, it is. I like them both equal. I really do. I would wear this more in the day. I'd wear this more at night to like a party or something. They are so glossy. Really nice. are coming along with this. We tried the eyeshadow, those lip colors. How about the blush? Whoa, I am also blown away with these because they're actually the colors I love to wear. Every single day I put a little bit of this kind of sparkle bronzer and then I put a little bit of pink over it so we get two different compacts. One has lighter shades, one has darker. Sometimes I'll put the bronzer first and then do a light little coating of the pink blush just to give it a, like a little pinky touch to it. So here we go. I'm gonna try them separate and then put them together. Here's the pink. Ooh, it's really nice. It's kind of light though, a little on the lighter side. It's like a dusty rose. And we'll try the bronzer. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> I really, really love this. Here's your two blush colors, the bronzer and blush duo. You can also rub them together to make a certain shade. And I know it kind of makes this look really gross, <laughs> but believe me, when you rub them together, it looks really, really pretty. Right there is the two combined. Here's your other colors. Some of these are a little on the darker side, probably the ones I'd like to wear a little bit more just because they show more color. Ooh, look at that pink. <laughs> it is so amazing looking. Look, it's kind of dark. And this bronzer is filled to the brim with silver sparkle, and when you put this on your cheekbone, it really, really just makes it shine. See, it's a lot darker than the other one. There is the bronzer and the blush from the second compact. There's your cheek color, the bronzer and blush duos. We get two of them, and I just couldn't be happier. They have really nice shades of pinks and bronze. Love them. Actually, now that I'm looking at this case, the only thing it's really missing is the mascara and the foundation because it's got every other beauty tool you need to do a whole entire look. I wish those were included. Next up, looks like we're trying those four nail colors. Here they are, your four nail polishes. I love all of these colors. They're kind of different, but kind of natural. Some are elegant, some are a little playful, like the red, and I love this new pink. This case is so amazing because it really has a lot of product in it, but all of them are these colors that everybody could wear. And I don't know many people who wouldn't like these. Test them. I got some pink nails today, like I always do, so we're testing it out on paper, but sometimes Paper does it the best justice because you can see exactly the shade. Ooh, look at that fiery red. You could wear this red polish with that red lip gloss. Next one up looks like a French manicure pink, something I've been wearing for years. I love this color. It's just so pretty. It's really creamy. Wow. Let me just hold it up. You can see how nice it is. It's like a peachy pink. These polishes are just so super smooth. I can't believe it. Sometimes with polish, you gotta go over and over to get that glossy shine. It's just one coat and it looks perfect. So this one here is kind of like a natural pink orangey color. I can't, I can't describe it, but it's really nice. Another good one. Final one is a little bit out of the box. I can't describe this one either. It's kind of like a bronzish, brownish, metallic color. It looks like some kind of metal. Let's see. Hmm. It's got a lot of shine to it, but I'm not loving that one so much. There you go. One, two, three. These colors are perfect. I absolutely love them. This one is gonna have to grow on me a bit. I'm not crazy about it. And these are just so thick. This one's kind of watery and running. You guys can leave me a comment and let me know which one is your feed. Let's finish up this side so we get a nail and toe separator when you wanna paint your nails. 
You know, I have to say most beauty kits come with these and I never use them. I don't really like to use them. I don't think they work so great. But for some people, they do like them, so I'm glad they put it in there. We also get this super duper sharp nail file. Ooh, this is like the old fashioned one. It's got a point so you can clean out your nails. It's got the little emery board on there. Final little beauty treat on this side of the suitcase is this little black compact. I wonder what's in here. Let's see, it feels super light. Oh, I get it, it's empty. So you get your mirror and you can put one of those eyeshadow quads in here and your little applicators. This is actually a super cute idea because if you're on the go and you wanna apply your eyeshadow, none of these come with mirrors. So you take your favorite one and out of all these, I think my favorite was probably this one with the gold. So now you have your little handy dandy compact. You just pop off the plastic cover, put any of the shades you like, pop it right in, you can put your applicator and pop it right in your purse. Now after looking at this little compact, I really loved it. Such a cute touch. Final accessories to look at are the brushes and it looks like eyeliners and lip liners. Here are your final accessories. So it looks like we get one, oops, got a little cover, two and three beauty brushes. This one I would definitely use to either apply concealer, which doesn't come with this, or put on your eyeshadows your little eyebrow grooming tool. This is to comb your little brows and tame them a little bit. And the final is a blusher brush. Or if you have some powder, you could use it as well. This one here, I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but it's really cool. I kind of use them all the time. So it's a pencil, and when you have no nail polish on, you kind of like put it under your nail, and it gives the effect of a French manicure. It looks like you have that white tip, Super cool, and I'm really impressed that this came in the kit. It's a good one. We also get a lip liner pencil and an eyeliner. So here's the lip liner. It looks like we get a purplish pink and a darker one. And this is just like outline your lip. Oop, I'm drawing a pair of lips on there. Look at that color, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. I don't usually wear lip liner, but sometimes if I wear like a pink gloss, I will, just to give my lip a little definition. So you basically line the outer edge of your lip, and there's my little drawing, and then you put the lipstick or the gloss inside, kind of blend it together, and that's your lip liner. Here's the other color. It kind of looks purple, but then it looks like a super nude pink. Looks really pretty, actually. Ooh, look at that. It's really natural. There's my lips. You can even color in the whole lip with the lip liner. And your final accessory of this huge makeup case is the eyeliner pencil. And I do not wear eyeliner very often because it usually smudges. I don't like it too much. But just to show you the colors, we get a super dark black, and this looks like a gray. Kind of like a silvery, shimmery gray. Some people love wearing eyeliner. I'm just not one of them. I, I never ever liked it. I hope you enjoyed this case filled with makeup. Everything from nail polish, you get your beauty tools, even a nail pencil, lip gloss, eyeshadow, just every single thing. And some of these things I didn't like, very few that I didn't, but most I really, really loved. I loved all the shades. But also enjoy if you guys left me a comment to tell me what was your favorites. Did you like the polishes, the eyeshadows, or everything? I think I kind of liked every single thing. And we are gonna have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. Lots of beauty ones, fun ones. And if you wanna subscribe to our channel, you could just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe. Thanks for watching!